Alright, and for pen drive Linux, I have two flash drives. This is a 32 gig drive. Um, and I just ordered these off of um, Tiger Direct. And this is a 16 gig drive right here. Both are fine, of course, you know, the bigger the flash drive, the more you can get on it. But I've got multi boot on both of these. And I have a pen drive Linux, it's loading Ubuntu. They have a Casper partition, which means they have persistence. So that means I can actually install software and save settings and things and preferences on each one. And I can go to anybody's computer and plug these flash drives in and boot up off of them and run Linux and have my own. Basically, I can just kind of take over their computer and run Linux on it. So that's cool. But the other cool thing is, is that I've taken the uh, Windows 7 and Vista uh, DVDs and made ISO images of them and put them on here. And I can use these to install Windows. I can use these to install uh, Ubuntu Linux. I can use these to run Linux. I have image copying software. Um, I've got uh, you know password recovery software, so I can boot up and you know recover or reset passwords on machines. Um, security tools and things. Just you know, there's you know probably at least 20 different images I've got in each one of these that I could boot off of. So get yourself a good sized flash drive and you know the bigger the drive the better because the more stuff you can put on it and the more you can do with it. First off to find this tool. Ooh, scientist presents evidence of alien life. Now that's just darn cool. That's even cooler than Pendrive Linux, and not many things are cooler than Pendrive Linux. But it makes you wonder, hmm, what if we're not alone in the universe? Kind of cool stuff there. But anyway, to the point, we were going to go look for Pendrive Linux. So what I do is um, use your good friend Google, all right, and then psh, crawling today. I'm just going to Google for Pendrive Linux, okay? And the first website that pops up here, www.pendrivelinux.com, is the one I want to access. And there's several different options that you can download. Um, and then, uh, looks like, ooh, somebody's running Compass and Barrel there. I wonder if that's on. Hmm, I'll have to check that out later. But anyway, the thing that you want to do, you can get your the universal USB installer if you only want to do Linux. If you want to do what I'm doing, which is multi-booting everything on God's green earth, then get this one. Boot multiple ISOs from USB. And download the tool here. And I'm going to click on Save. And I'll throw it into throw it into download here. Okay. And with that tool, I can now go and download multiple images, and that'll give me a boot menu set up on my flash drive to where I can boot those multiple images. So we downloaded the tool. And I'm going to go to Downloads and USB, and we're going to run the tool, and go ahead and click on Agree, and your flash drive should be listed there. If it's not, you can check this option, Show All Drives, but be careful because you, know, you don't want to format a partition you know, that you're using on your you want to make sure it's a flash drive because you're you are going to format this drive and it's going to destroy all the data and put a new boot image on there so you can set up your multi-boot and everything off the flash drive so just be careful which drive you select but then all of these will be available to you down here and you can add your own as well if you go to pendrivelinux.com there are several tutorials on how to do that if if you want to add something that's not listed here but these are really easy to add you just select one you check it and you download it um, now I'm not going to, you know, again, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, notice I can choose to let the download finish and, you know, I'm going to say no, but I'm not going to format it because I put, you know, quite a bit of, of effort into setting my flash drive up just the way I want it. I have so many different operating systems and things that load off of that flash drive. I don't really want to do it all over again, but for you doing this the first time, it's going to format your flash drive and set it up with the bootloader and then you'll be able to go in and just download and install the images that you want and you too can have a flash drive that lets you install and boot 
um, Linux and Windows 7 and Vista and XP and all the things that you want to do without having to carry on a box full of CDs and DVDs with you everywhere you go. So great tool and uh, thanks, kudos to the folks at pendrivelinux.com. And if you examine the contents of the drive, multi-boot here, here's some of the programs. Here's the Casper section or Casper partition, and that's what gives me persistence. So in other words, um, I can boot up Ubuntu in live CD mode, and it works just like a CD, and everything I do is, it's not really saved. You know, it's, it's like running Nopix off of, but, you know, I can install Ubuntu, and I can do diagnostics, and use Gparted, and all the wonderful tools to repair systems and things. But with this setup, with a Casper partition, and with, you know, um, with persistence, I can actually install applications and software and customize my desktop. And so my flash drive truly becomes a portable Linux installation I can carry around with me everywhere I go. And anybody's computer I plug it into, I just use their computer as a host and run my Linux off my flash drive and I have my, I duplicate my desktop. Um, that's kind of cool. This is just some data and things that I keep, you know, files in. And then some of the images down here, <clears throat> these are ISOs that I can boot with the multi-boot utility. So um, AVG antivirus, um, Bitdefender, and then, um, you know, partition magic and off crack the the password cracker manager, the ultimate boot CD, there's uh, Ubuntu right there. I'm actually booting off the live image. When I choose to boot off the live image, it's just that's just you know the normal Ubuntu distribution I said that you can download from Ubuntu's website. And it's the same thing with uh, Microsoft, okay? You know, I've got the Microsoft image um, of Windows 7 on here, so that way I can load up Windows 7. So it's a very versatile tool. So I booted off my BIOS, and you want to make sure that your BIOS is set to boot off a removable drive, or at least to you know boot off a CD if you're using some sort of intermediate, uh, you know, boot manager or bootloader. In this case, I want to boot off my USB drive now, my flash drive. So I'm going to select USB, and it found Geek Squad, and here's the menu for PenDrive Linux. And just looking at some of the options here, um, I can go through and I can, you know, load Ubuntu 1010, Maverick Meerkat, and I can run that with persistence and my Casper partition. So I can install software and things and make it just like, you know, an operating system that you would run off of a portable hard drive. Or I can run it as the install CD. It could be like the live CD. And I can use it to install Ubuntu on other systems. And I have lots of other tools. Um, Here's an NT password and registry editor in case people forget their passwords. There's an XP password cracker, um, love crack. Part of magic, a partition manager, um, Casper Sky CD virus scanner, AVG virus scanner. You know, I have a whole toolkit here, and I've even even have a you know Windows 7 and Vista um, image here that I can install. So I can install Ubuntu and I can install Windows 7 right from my flash drive. Depends on how big your flash drive is. In this case, I have a 16 gig flash drive. And I have a 32 gig flash drive where I can hold even more. Um, but those are the options that you can install once you set up your multi boot flash drive.